Dessert has to be probably my favorite course of any meal, but it's the holidays and you don't have to make dessert a two day project. Dessert can be simple, tasty, and super effective. When I think of simple, I think of tiramisu. Coffee, drenched cookies with whipped mascarpone and cocoa powder, but it's the holidays. And the holidays are always time for a little magic. And this is the time where eggnog and tiramisu cross paths into a holiday destiny of deliciousness. This is eggnog tiramisu. Roll it! So classically in a tiramisu, there's whipped cream and whipped mascarpone, and I'm not leaving out the mascarpone because that's classic, but I thought, what could I replace whipped cream with to make it taste like eggnog? <laughs> then I thought, eggnog. You can use store-bought eggnog if you want, but I make my own, and it's really easy. It's just eggs, sugar, cream, milk, nutmeg. I put a little orange zest in mine and a little bit of vanilla. That's all you need to make delicious eggnog. So whip it up and get it nice and frothy and creamy. Don't go too fast at the beginning because you'll blow cream all over you. So just slow. Once it starts to thicken up, then you can really lean into the speed. You don't want to over whip the eggnog, but when it looks nice and fluffy like that, you know you've done something totally right. And the smell of whipped eggnog kind of makes you giggle. All right, so that's step one. Okay, now step number two, mm, sorry. Step number two is mascarpone cheese. This stuff is really delicious, but you want to whip it up. You want to give it some life. When you whip it, you put air into it. When you put air into it, it gets really nice and fluffy and has a lighter than air texture. It has more magic than a sleigh flying over houses dumping off presents. The eggnog's pretty sweet, so I don't put a ton of sugar in with the mascarpone, just a tiny bit. Classically in a tiramisu, this is where you'd add some lemon to make it lighter, but there's orange in the eggnog whip, so that's cool. Just get some air into it, a little bit sweet. What a treat. Delicious. So the mascarpone, like the whipped eggnog, just really creamy and fluffy. My goodness, that looks delicious. So here's the deal. This is what I like to do. Fold the mascarpone into the whipped cream, but you want to take your time. Just roll it over gently. There's a lot of air in there and you want to save the air. That's what keeps the filling really nice and light. So just put it in and just roll the whipped cream over the mascarpone. Do it till it's really nice and silky and every little bite has pops of eggnog and cream cheese and deliciousness. There's no cream cheese in there, but you know what I'm saying. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Yep, totally delicious, totally tastes like eggnog and lighter than air. Okay, so let's build it. You need a really big spatula for this. Just kidding, you need a small one. <laughs> so what I like to do is this is the dish I use. So put the tiniest amount of the cream in the bottom and just spread it out. This is gonna be the first kind of layer and it's gonna help the cookie stick to the bottom of the pan. It doesn't have to be crazy, just get a little cream on there. Okay, the first layer of cream, and this is where things get really fun. These are Italian ladyfinger cookies, and they add a lot of crunch, but classically in a tiramisu, you dip them in coffee. This is cooled coffee, but it's the holidays, so I add some coffee liqueur. And if there's children around and everything's exciting and everyone's going crazy, more liqueur. Just kidding, you can leave the liqueur out if there's kids around, but I love that little hit of boozy coffee in the cookie. And here's a great tip, you don't wanna soak them for long. 
you still want the structure of this beautiful cookie. So just get it into the coffee, roll it around just a few times. I know that seems crazy. You're gonna think it's way too hard, but it won't. Once it sits in all of that cream and soaks up that coffee, it's gonna be perfect. And I do them one at a time. It just, it smells so good with a lot of coffee liqueur and the cold coffee. <sniffs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Just break a little piece off and then you can fill in the end and leave that end in the middle and then just do that first layer of cookies, a little bit of cream, good to go. <laughs> All right, that looks great for a first layer. A little bit of cream on the bottom, lots of cookies, and then now you can have a nice fat stack of the eggnog cream. Sweet. Okay, so once you have a nice fat layer of cream, don't forget about these little pieces. I always use these little pieces, so start with the pieces that you have left over, and then like the first layer, a big layer of cookie. Super simple, easiest dessert in the world, and now another big fat layer of the puffy eggnog cream. All right, that's pretty sweet. Okay, a few finishing touches. Classically on a tiramisu is cocoa powder. I'm not leaving it out because it gives the topping such a really cool look. It's actually really nice. The bitter cocoa with the sweet eggnog and the coffee, it's such a good flavor. It's got a bitter little kind of tang to it and it goes really good. And because I'm crazy, Ginger snap cookies. Get it on a microplane and just grate it. And the ginger snap cookie with all the spices in it, with the eggnog and the chocolate and the coffee goes so good. So just take some ginger snap cookies all over the top. You'll get some. You're allergic to chocolate. I don't speak Italian either. That's why I put eggnog in it. I love you too. We're not fighting. I told you there was gonna be a little magic in it. Super simple to make. You don't need to cook anything. Let it set up for a couple hours and you can cut it and eat it. All right, a few hours and then we're eating it. But there's a tradition here. I got a little bit of whipped cream. So when the tiramisu comes out of the fridge, this is a symbol. This is the time of night where Uncle Jerry's doing the holiday shuffle. The kids are about to put on their jam jams and go to bed, and grandma's completely passed out on the couch. This is a symbol. All your hard work is done. Now it's time to enjoy a beautiful eggnog tiramisu. So good. Look at the layers. It's really great. It's got the coffee cookie on the bottom, lots of eggnog whipped cream, coffee cookie, eggnog whipped cream, and then ginger snap cookies on the top with cocoa. This is the perfect end to every meal. And honestly, dessert is my favorite. I told you, there's gonna be a little bit of magic. All right. Yeah, it's so good.
you can taste eggnog. There's pops of orange. The cookie still has a little structure, but it's nice and fudgy. That is a holiday dessert for the ages. Grandma, time for tiramisu. <laughs> I had a crazy dream. It was 2020. Good thing we're back in 1965. Okay, Grandma. Right, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>